Well, hi everyone. Welcome back to another video with Matt. We got the Savage Gravel out. It's a big monster truck and if it looks a lot like Scrappy, that's because that's what its inspiration was based on. We are going to fly around Lake Havasu today. And uh, if you don't know where Lake Havasu is, don't worry, neither did I until just a little while ago. So we got to thank uh, Joe Covino for the suggestion. Joe, I hope I'm saying Covino right. And uh, Mr. Lake, I hope I'm saying Cavasu right. Wait, Havasu. <laughs> So yeah, um, I, I'm not very good at pronouncing things, so if Covino's not right and Havasu's not right, I'm sorry. So we're taking off from uh, Lake Havasu City Airport, and we are going to head over to Lake Havasu Lake, or do I just say Lake Havasu? Is that redundant if I say it twice? I don't know. Um, something else you should be aware of is, while Flight Sim does have a recording uh, and playback feature. I haven't explored how to use it yet. So all of the flying that you see happening is live flying. I didn't fly this and then I'm looking for cool camera angles afterwards. I'm actually just flying it and playing with the camera angles while I fly. So um, if that means I don't get the best shot every single time, I'm sorry, but it works for me. And I'm trying to put out the, the camera angles that look cool, so hopefully it works for you too. So, whatever. Here we are. This is a neat little feature. You see the moon there up in the sky? And then if I come over here and get the moon's reflection in the water, you can see it. But what you see, come on moon, reflect in the water for me. <laughs> you see the whole moon. <laughs> see the whole moon's reflecting there, not just part of the moon even though it's only part of the moon in the sky. I guess simulators can only go so far. Whatever. So this is the drone view, and the drone view lets me look in a specific direction despite the airplane's orientation in space. You can see I can do a turn here, and I'm not changing the camera angle. It stays in the correct position the whole time, and uh, I can see, I can turn the airplane while continuing to look in the same direction. I like this angle. It looks really cool because I can change uh, the, what I'm looking at as far as the airplane goes just by turning the airplane, which is cool. And, and it's smoother. If I go back to this view, if I want to change the orient, so, so say I do a turn. So I do a turn and you see the camera angle now is no longer pointing directly at the moon. Now it's pointing off and towards the desert hills over there. So the camera follows the plane around like a chase plane. So that's kind of cool too, because I can come back here, and then I can see where I'm going, and I can land and stuff. So I, I alternate between those views. This is kind of neat, like I can change my camera angle, but sometimes I want, to, I want to look at those mountains in the background while maneuvering in front of them, and so that's why I would go to the drone view. Problem is, once I'm in drone view, in order to fly the airplane, I can't control the drone. So if I want to control the drone, I have to stop being able to control the airplane and, and I've got that set to, to C on my keyboard. So if I press C, I'm moving the joystick, nothing happens, but I can now change the orientation of the drone, right? And if I hit C again, now I can control the airplane again, but now I can't control the drone anymore. So it, it's a trade-off. It works. The, the only downside is in this view, I get the airspeed indicator. Hoops, and you can see I'm getting into the past my VNO there. Um, and then in, in drone view, of course, I can't see my airspeed indicators, so I just kind of have to guess, but whatever. That is, is what it is, limitations of sims, they are what they are. Something really cool about Lake Havasu, I bet you nobody knows, except for Joe, and maybe a few other people who quickly looked up Lake Havasu on their Google phone, uh, wait, when I said that we were going to Lake Havasu. You see that bridge? going across that river straight ahead of me. Anybody want to take a guess where that's from? And if you say Lake Havasu, <laughs> you would be correct and you'd also be a smart aleck. It is from Lake Havasu now, but it actually came from somewhere else. Now let's see if I can uh, 
I'm going to go over to this view here. That this, this angle here looks ridiculous because the sun's shining on the wrong side and you can't really see it for, you know, in all of its glory because photogrammetry bridges look weird. But look at that. That's like, hey, you're like, hey, that's a pretty cool looking bridge. That looks pretty neat. Yeah, that came from London, England. They shipped a bridge over to Lake Havasu of all places from London, England. Apparently, it's not the first London bridge in London, England, but it's the second one. And when they rebuilt it, they they were like, well, what are we going to do with this? And they're like, I know. Let's send it to Lake Havasu because everybody knows where that is. I didn't even know this place existed until Joe said, hey, you should fly around Lake Havasu. So here we are flying around it, and there's London Bridge. Wacky. Apparently there was a movie about it. Jack the Ripper's soul got transplanted into one of the bricks, and it's like some sort of like low-budget horror movie, and then he goes around Lake Havasu killing people or something. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I don't know how that all worked out. I didn't watch the movie can't recommend it because I haven't watched it so maybe it's good I don't know if anybody's ever seen it let me know uh, let me know what you think of it so yeah here we are I don't know where Joe lives so we can't fly over your house Joe unless I am accidentally um, and as you can see there there aren't a lot of big buildings but there's a lot of small ones so that's kind of neat I guess and then Lake Havasu is also known for having walking trails out in the desert so if you've ever wanted to get a sunburn while slowly dying of thirst Lake Havasu's got you covered apparently it's all in this direction so we're gonna head over there and uh, look at some of those trails and um, maybe land on some of the hills or something so let's go And here we are, just coming into the foothills around Lake Kavasu, back to the drone shot because, you know, it looks cool and stuff. You can even see the vortex generators on the tops of the wings. That's pretty neat, eh? So see, like in a shot like this, if I had a runway pointing in the direction that the camera's going, I could like maneuver the airplane onto that runway and, uh, and it would look cool. Otherwise, I got to go back to the other view. So I'm just going to do like a little touch and go in the dirt here just because why not and then we're gonna switch views and see where I'm really going and go land on the side of a hill or something maybe yeah nice little one wheel bouncing go cuz why not all right let's go back to this view I can kind of find somewhere to land hey that's kind of neat how about right there Ooh, under a power line yeah why not right up this little trail here oh there's kind of trees on it that's okay. We'll kind of miss some trees here, maybe. A little shrub. There we go. Nice little, whoops. That's okay. I didn't want that wingtip anyway. That wingtip was optional. Oh, see, and that's the other downside to this camera angle is it's it's kind of abrupt. If you, if you do it like a sharp turn, the whole camera violently swerves. That's the other downside of photogrammetry uh, terrain, too, is you get these big hill, uh, little steps in the terrain. And I guess it's not everywhere, but it's somewhere. All right, let's do a little off the, underneath the power line takeoff here. And there aren't any real power lines, which would be really cool if you could hit them and, like, get tangled up in them. That'd be kind of neat. But there aren't. Whatever. Let's go inside for a second, see what's going on in there. There we go. Visibility in here is pretty sweet. Usually whenever I fly uh, the planes, um, what I do is whenever I'm in the pilot seat, I usually have to hit the space bar and then angle my camera down because I'm a tall person and that's the, the, the view I would normally see. But whoever built this plane put the default view in the correct position for me so that it looks like I'm actually looking over the dash properly instead of like, like sometimes it feels like in the Cessna, this is the view you get. You're looking like, it's like you're scrunched down in your seat looking straight ahead at the dashboard, which isn't how I fly. I can always see the cowling, so I like to sit up a little bit higher and see the cowling. So anyway, this plane's designer got it right. So whoever that was, kudos to you. And if you want to fly this plane around and you don't know how to get it, well, let me tell you, video description is your friend. So in there, I have links to all of my favorite planes that I fly. So, uh, 
if you want to check it out and, and you'll probably find new ones like my my last video didn't have this plane in that because i hadn't flown it in a long time and quite frankly i'd forgotten about it but when i saw the terrain out here i'm like i need a rugged bush plane and do i have the one for you the savage gravel and so here we are buzzing around into a box canyon gonna get all boxed in and can't get out good news we got tons of horsepower we can get out of almost anywhere let's go back outside see where we're doing here oh yeah look at that fly right around through here buzz some trees i'm probably like in some sort of national park joe you can probably be like yeah so you busted like 30 faa regulations good news i'm canadian don't care about the faa it's transport canada we have to worry about but i guess down in arizona i would have to worry about the faa whatever Anyway, let's do a little pop-up over this hill, see what there is. Oh, I still got flaps down. We could probably pull those up. There we go. Hey, I can fly faster again. Look at that. Nice, majestic shot coming out of the mountains. Looking down through the valley at magnificent Lake Havasu. Pop up over this hill here. Because why not? And then a little weightlessness. Whee! If that doesn't make your stomach go lurchy, I don't know what will. I guess it's just, just a game. I guess it probably shouldn't. If it does, maybe you should go see a doctor. I don't know. Maybe you got some vertigo going on. Couldn't tell you. I like doing this. Just cutting the engine at the top of a mountain range and then like gliding down, seeing how far I can go before I run out of altitude. Hugging the mountain as you go because why not? What do they call that? Uh, oh, there's a name for it. Whenever you follow the terrain. Am I going to make it? Maybe. Oh, see, there's one of them little steps in the terrain there again. You hit one of them, it'll flip your plane right over. There. I avoided it. Yeah, see, what is up with that? You go out there and it's like, caution, step. Look. I wonder if my big wheels will go right over it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Up. Oh, boom. Nailed it. All right. Let's take off this way. Do we have enough power? <laughs> Heck, yes, we do. According to the plane's description, its oil system is approved for inverted flight. Because, you know, why wouldn't you want to fly inverted? wonder what it looks like in the... Uh, <laughs> there we go. Apparently this is perfectly fine in this plane because this looks like an aerobatic airplane, right? That would make it hurt. Oh, there we go. That's better. Alright, I think I'm going to do one more landing and uh, call this a video. Uh, Lake Havasu, as interesting as you are. Um, rugged terrain, awesome hills and trails, and London Bridge. So, there you have it. What you didn't know about Lake Havasu, now you know. Look, there's a little spot right there. Looks like it'd be a good spot to sneak the plane into. Do a little slip, get the airspeed down. pop in some flaps that'll keep me in the white arc now there's the there's the view you'd get if this was real life that so somehow figure out how to put a camera on the tail which would be kind of cool anyway as I come in for a landing you guys should know that I have a discord server now and it's a place where we can all meet up and talk to each other and organize online flights where we can all fly together so isn't that a cool idea so if you guys think that's a cool idea there I damaged the other wingtip both wingtips now damaged perfect so yeah, if you want to come along and uh, go flying with me sometime online come find me on discord and uh, we will sort out a time that works for some several people we'll all pick an area and a type of plane to fly maybe not the exact same type of plane but like 
all ultralights or all GA or all helicopters or all fighter jets or all whatever and we'll go uh, we'll go bomb around somewhere so that's what I'll do and also if you have any suggestions for where you think I should go flying next in my next video I have a list but I'll add your suggestion to the list and uh, maybe I can fly around your hometown or something like that so let me know what you think I'm gonna stuff it into the ground here one more time and uh, call it a video no flaps on this one just keeps floating oops little bounce did that on purpose trust me on this I'm a professional oh yeah terrible and the ground no irrigation out here folks oh damaging those wingtips like no tomorrow <laughs> All right, as you can see, not a fantastic pilot, but we certainly have fun. All right, until next time, guys, we will talk to you later.